Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I want to talk about a free antivirus software from AVG Technologies. It works both in Windows, Vista, and Windows XP. So if you're interested in downloading an antivirus program and you're not sure if you should get McAfee or Norton or Kapersky or any other program that you have to pay for, you can always download this free version from AVG. Go to free.avg.com to download the free basic edition. And to tell you the truth, this basic edition is quite packed of features. So it has a few limitations, but nothing to really worry about. I mean, it's a basic edition only compared to the other ones, and you can you can compare it when you go to the website. Of course, there's no technical support. You can't call them. You can't install it on a server, and it's not for commercial uh, use. It's for private personal use. Now, when you go and download it, uh, it's about a 50 meg download. Okay, so download version 8 right now is 48.34 megabytes and uh, the installation is actually pretty simple and straightforward so you'll just download the uh, setup.exe file and then run it and then it will start the uh, setup process and it will ask a few questions of course the first ones being whether you want the express installation or the custom so it's up to you again uh, I usually like to go through the um, custom installation and choose the options that I want to install right so here's the uh, stand standard and the custom so I'll choose the custom and go to the next and then answer the questions and fill out the information uh, like I said this is a free edition so it all comes with uh, the uh, license number already pre-built in the download and uh, after you personalize it you can choose the path where you want to install it of course and um, go through what it is that you want to install. It has a link scanner and an email scanner, so you can uncheck those if you don't want that and just get the standard antivirus and the shield protection for it. So once you're done installing it, then of course the next thing is to uh, launch it and take a look at the options. It's uh, running by default um, in the background, of course, at all times, and um, you can go ahead and modify things, okay? so. First thing you want to do, of course, is run run an update. So as soon as you download an antivirus, any antivirus program, you want to just do the uh, automatic update and make sure that you've got the latest um, uh, antivirus signatures and that everything is um, the, the latest version. Okay, and of course, you can register this, but again, remember, there's no support for it, so you can't really call them up or, or expect any any help from them. Now once it's installed, like I said, it's running in the background. You can see it here. You can right click on the icon for it that's on the taskbar and open up the uh, interface or update it and uh, go through the three options there and you can see everything is enabled and active and running right now. Right? You can scan your entire computer, of course, which I haven't done with this software yet. As you can see here, I just installed it two seconds ago. So uh, obviously you can uh, go through um, the computer scanner and click on scan the whole computer right and if you don't want that you can just scan specific folders right so it's got pretty intuitive and straightforward options to choose from or you can go into tools at the top and then access the advanced settings from the advanced settings of course you can tweak the way you want this application to work right uh, whether you want it to um, run in the background start start up whether you want certain things to um, to pop up and notify you or not um, whether you want to schedule it to automatically run at midnight for example and if it does find viruses how much of space on the on your on your system do you want to allocate to store what it finds so that you can later check the quarantine area and delete those files right so you can obviously reduce the size there and um, just go through these options slowly right and then uh, see how you want to set up the scanning and the protection of your machine right so all of these options come enabled here for scanning by default and uh, I recommend obviously that you you leave those defaults they uh, made sense to me and and I didn't have any issues with those so I just left left those as is um, the um, actual application itself when I checked the memory usage was actually quite low right for a 40 50 meg program it was actually only using about 15 megs of memory at the time uh, without actually doing a full system scan. Of course, if it's doing a full system scan and doing more work, it's going to utilize more memory. But uh, I believe unlike Norton or McAfee and other uh, programs that are heavy um, and, and, and require more memory, 
this is much uh, lightweight so it's it's um, it's not going to bog down your system so try it out if you're looking for a free antivirus program and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching